good afternoon to all the guests participants members of the nautical institute across the globe a sailing as well as shore staff of synergy group i first of all i thank you all for accepting our invitation some of you at a very short notice to participate in this event organized by the nautical institute london india southwest branch and as you know um this pandemic the effect and consequences uh it has had on shipping industry especially to seafarers and uh, as you know there have been a lot of challenges that uh, seafarers and their families had to go through and currently still going through as well as those sea those seafarers who are on leave the people working behind the curtains in the shore offices trying to get them on and off so we at the nautical institute uh, thought um, you know we should uh, recognize the efforts taken by uh, people who are involved in this uh, taking up this challenge of uh, seafarers welfare signing on and signing off so this event uh, is the an event organized by the nautical institute to appreciate uh, captain rajesh umni and the team synergy for uh, you know taking up this challenge during this crisis time putting the seafarers welfare right on top of the priority list so this is in recognition for their effort the nautical institute would like to award them with a certificate of appreciation uh, event um uh just before i uh, head on with the itinerary of uh, today's event uh, i would like to just quickly uh, put the native bits of an online event and i hope all of you are aware of it but still you know we have people connecting us from london we have people from canberra we have people on board ships connecting for this event and across our country i have some organizations here himachal seafarers association uh, members from the marin Mar society marine society in kerala and across india so it would be appropriate to have respect everybody's time keep the event on time i request uh, all of you to keep your mics uh, muted uh, no to not present anything on the screen and uh, i also request um, all of you to keep your cameras off so that uh, we don't have uh, face any issues with the bandwidth or connectivity issues and we can keep this uh, event on time so once again uh, it's my privilege to welcome all of you to this uh, event the nautical institute event of certificate of appreciation award to synergy maritime private limited and captain rajesh unni um so let's start our proceedings for the day i first invite uh, captain joske thomas um, who was the founder president of the nautical institute southwest branch we started this branch in india in 2015 we are getting to 5 years of having this branch at cochin so i i invite captain joske thomas the founder president to deliver the welcome address over to you captain thank you uh, for the introduction as you know the shipping industry is facing the most challenging time and we are understatement to say so i am more had declared seafarers as key workers and if you ask the seafarer today do you a key worker you will say well what does it mean declaring something has really not made much difference to the seafarer he would probably think key worker means we have a cabin key in your pocket okay or declaring them as essential workers too has not really been a difference as far as the seafarers are concerned especially considering the repatriation planning issue so particularly as given progress in this program and getting all of us today to facilitate um, the donee and the synergy team the path breaking uh, and let me now 
get on with my task of uh, welcoming guest today. I'm uh, happy to welcome uh, the Medical Institute, Gillian Carlson Jackson. She's now in Canberra in Australia. Gillian, who is a fellow of the Nautical Institute, commenced her career in the Canadian Coast Guard, graduating from the Coast Guard College as a navigating officer in 1986. Gillian has worked both afloat and ashore in the Canadian Coast Guard, including 10 years as an instructor at the Canadian Coast Guard College. Following an active role at IL, that is International Association of Lighthouse Authorities, in the development of beach training, he moved to France to work with IAL as technical technician manager. In 2006, she moved to Australia to work with the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, AMSA, as manager of vessel traffic and pilotage services. After 10 years, in 2016, she then left AMSA to set up her own consultancy, JCJ Consulting, focusing on maritime technical advice and education. In May 2020, Julian was appointed as a director of Global Match. Julian represents the Nautical Institute in IALA as chair of the Emerging Digital Technologies Working Group and the Personal and Training Working Group. He holds an MBA degree from the University. As I mentioned earlier, she is a fellow of the Nautical Institute and also a fellow of the Royal Institute of Navigation. Gillian belongs to the Nautical Institute Southeast Australian branch and considers the Nautical Institute branch as a professional family, sounding board, and reality check. The Nautical Institute and the coaching chapter and the maritime fraternity extends a warm welcome to the Gillian Carson Jackson. Next, we have uh, Captain John Lloyd, the CEO of Nautical Institute. He is now at London at the headquarters. His 16 year seagoing career began in 1975, gaining command in 1987. He spent two years as a marine pilot at Walvis Bay in Namibia. Captain Lloyd has extensive experience in maritime education and training, which includes four years as in senior positions at flagship training in the UK, 10 years in senior positions at Wasash Maritime Academy UK. Many of us seafarers would have done various courses at Wasash. I did so in 1981, 82, 84. He was two years as CEO of 102 Maritime College and seven years as professor in the National Center for Ports and Shipping at the Australian Maritime College AMC in Tasmania. While at the AMC, he was away to Angola on a two years leave of absence to set up the Angolan Maritime Training Center. From AMC, Captain Lloyd came to the Nautical Institute headquarters in London. Earlier, he was the chief operating officer at the Nautical Institute, had overall responsibility for the Institute's specialized training services, including the industry standard dynamic position operator and accreditation certification scheme. Captain John Lloyd is a fellow of the Nautical Institute. He's a Royal Navy Reserve Officer RD and an MBA. Captain John Lloyd had visited us here in Cochin in 2018, just after the great floods here, when uh, the Cochin chapter had the AGM and a combined family meeting with the company of uh, National Madness of India. The coaching chapter and the maritime community extends a warm welcome to Captain John Lloyd. We have uh, Captain uh, Venkatraman Rajkopal, uh, based in Chennai. He's a senior marine superintendent with Synergy. Captain Venkatraman would be more famous for his viral hit song on the YouTube, Counting Biryani. I don't think there is any seafarer who has not um, viewed and heard this video, Counting Briani. Those who are not done, please do so again, a hilarious take. 
Captain uh, Venkatraman is going to explain to us about uh, Synergy, the company that is behind path-breaking uh, initiatives. A warm welcome to Captain Venkatraman. We have with us today Captain Rajesh Rune. He is the founder and CEO of Synergy Marine Group, one of the world's leading ship managers, with a fleet of more than 300 vessels, which includes some of the industry's most sophisticated vessels. After a long and illustrious career, he came ashore to serve in senior executive positions in Hong Kong, Singapore, before launching his vessel ownership and management company, which we know as Synergy today. Education is Captain Rooney's passion. He's a class one master mariner and a recently completed advanced management program at the prestigious Harvard Business School. He also sits on the board of North p and Association, the Asia Pacific Advisory Committee for Major Classification Societies. He was recently appointed a governor at the Indian Institute of Management, literally Tamil Nadu, India. Driven by a firm conviction that the entire maritime industry can evolve from analog to digital, Captain Oni founded Alpha Ori Technologies, AOT, where he's a joint CEO. He recently established AOT's Center of Innovation in Singapore, which can remotely monitor, diagnose, and control most operational aspects of digital vessels using their patented software, SmartShip, which is classified by class NK. SmartShip has been installed on more than 50 ships and another 60 are in the process. For the SmartShip project, Synergy was awarded the 2019 Safety for Sea Technology Award in Athens. Welfare has always been high on Captain Oni's agenda. In 2018, Synergy established an endowment for those declared unfit for sea service but lacking adequate insurance. This provides funding to the seafarer and family in helping to establish sustainable alternative income. Another of Captain Oni's global initiatives led to the creation of ICOL, a free psychological helpline for the worldwide maritime community. Synergy again was awarded the Sea Trade Global Award for investment in people in May 2019. As you know, the psychological issues that seafarers are facing is a big problem now, and I'm sure this ICOL will be a great boon to our seafarers. Captain Nuni is a leading philanthropist. He is a trustee of the Cochin Cancer Society, which is Synergy's main corporate social responsibility initiatives. The Synergy Educational and Charitable Trust focuses on alleviating poverty, eradicating hunger, and empowering women and local communities. He is also a strategic thought partner with leading change-making network Ashoka, and was recently nominated to the board of. Gandhi Graham Rural Institute, a university in Tamil Nadu. This was part of Mahatma Gandhi's vision for provincial children's education. Captain Uni has often been recognized for his achievements and contributions. In 2018, he was honored by the Mission to Seafarers Welfare Award for the contributions to the seafaring community. In 2019, he was named the CEO of the year at the ShipTech Maritime Awards in Singapore. He, was, he also received the Kashti Ratna, which means Jewel of Shipping Award in the presence of India's Union Minister of Shipping at New Delhi in October 19. I would also like to add that um, myself and Captain Uni are schoolmates, though I passed out some 15 years before him at the Sainik School, Trivandrum. Let's all give a warm welcome to Captain Unisi of uh, Synergy. We have uh, in the program experience sharing by Captain Aditya Dilip Kale, who signed off from the vessel Tramia Paris, which is uh, a Synergy vessel. And uh, he will narrate his uh, experiences. He is uh, safe and sound at home now. We have um, Experience sharing from Captain Rizal Ubatiai, who is currently on board the Mersk in Sunada. Those of us who started our sea careers from the Moscow days 
and cables. Isn't it wonderful to see that somebody now sitting on board in his cabin is able to interact with this life. And this is where technology has taken us and let's hope that this technology is put to great use for the benefit of the maritime fraternity. So <clears throat> welcome all of you to this program and tune in. Thank you. What do you have another? Yeah, Captain, uh, thank you, Captain Joseph Thomas, uh, for the wonderful introduction of our guests. Um, I now straight away go to invite uh, Ms. Gillian to introduce the Nautical Institute to the guests and the participants. Over to you, Gillian. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to have you um, all here and joining us both on the Facebook feed, where I see we've had already 302 um, interactions or 302 views. And we have all of the members as well on this platform that we're using for our presentation. As you heard, I'm from Canada. So although I live in Australia, I won't sound like Australian. But the joy of the maritime industry is that it is international. And the Nautical Institute is the body to represent at the international level, the maritime professional. With over 7,000 members and a global network, being a member of the Nautical Institute or using that hashtag in the NI gives you an opportunity to link with other maritime professionals from around the globe, both afloat and ashore. And we're really, really lucky that we have this opportunity to use technology in order to have this connection. During this time of COVID, it's, we're so aware of the importance of the maritime industry. And I think I'm hoping that the rest of the world is also becoming aware of this industry that tends to be a very quiet achiever. And we're not necessarily always in everyone's mind, but right now with COVID, and with all of the activity around the requirement to protect and to keep the seafarers safe. I'm hoping that some of these activities, the messages that we're getting out, the videos that I'm doing, the Maritime Matters, the Maritime Professional during COVID-19, are being able to be seen not only to support the seafarers, but also to recognize that their families are waiting for them, that the seafarers at home need to get back on the ships, and that there is an awful lot of work happening to make all of these crew changes a reality. So the Nautical Institute provides a focus to address the issues that are facing the industry. And during COVID-19, this is certainly one of the issues that is facing our industry. We are the voice of the seafarer on the international stage at both IALA and the IMO and beyond. And it gives me great pleasure to be able to be here as the president of the Nautical Institute and to assist at this presentation to recognize the efforts that are going on to ensure that the ships keep moving and the cargo keeps going. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jillian. That was wonderful of you uh, to introduce uh, Nautical Institute uh, to a lot of participants, those who are watching us live on Facebook. I'm sure a lot of them would now be interested um, you know, in being members of Nautical Institute and the activities that Nautical Institute is doing for the seafaring community. Thank you so much. I now invite uh, our CEO uh, from London. He's just up uh, with his breakfast, Captain John Lloyd. Uh, he would uh, give us more insight about the Nautical Institute and the activities that the Nautical Institute is doing uh, from London. Over to you, John. Thank you, uh, Captain Vinod, um, and it's a pleasure to be here. I, what I'd like to do is just um, give a small snapshot, a taste of uh, the way that we've uh, adapted uh, in a very agile fashion to the challenges that were brought to our doorstep in March of this year. You know, we put a lot of energy and a lot of effort into engaging with our communities in, in person, um, and that's something that we were not able to do um, with a very short notice period. In fact, I was in Australia visiting our branches um, when the phone was ringing too often. Um, so it was time for me to go back home um, uh, to, to London and, and support the activities from here. So what we've been doing is seeing how we can support our maritime professional community in different ways. And one of the early steps we took 
was to create a dedicated technical support area of our website um, that gives specific guidance to um, ships masters, ships operators, ships managers um, about how to handle some of the circumstances they're facing through the COVID-19 crisis. And we think that's important enough to share with the whole maritime community, not just of our members. So it is there as an open resource for people to go and draw upon. And what we've tried to do is to do some quality management of that uh, content, because there's so much information out there. What we've done is to concentrate on the really important messages, keeping them up to date and making sure that there are pieces of supporting information available to the community through that. Um, the other point that Gillian raised there is the importance of networking and community and um, the fraternity that we live in as the maritime community and we've provided additional support through a colleague of mine many of you may have interacted with called Magda who's providing additional technical support through the branches to be able uh, to support their communications with the members on a regional basis uh, and to support events such as this so enhancing that engagement through difficult circumstances uh, through the branches is very important and our primary means of communication and engagement on a technical front, because we are a technical organisation, we provide support for continuing professional development, um, has been to transfer our activities to webinar based um, delivery on a whole range of subjects from um, uh, our Mars programme, our Mariners Alerting and Reporting Safety Scheme, we've had maritime startups, uh, we've had um, ship design and, and improvement, um, and using that, uh, a blockchain was another very, very popular webinar that we've used. So using that capability has given us a global outreach to numbers we had previously not even imagine that we could bring into a forum such as such as those to engage on a technical front with the maritime community so that's been hugely successful and we're very grateful for all of the participants but the other thing which we've done is is what we're doing today and that's that we've introduced some certificates of appreciation for those that have gone the extra mile those who have really um fought through the challenging circumstances of the crew changes and so on um, and so I'm very very pleased uh, very delighted to be part of this recognition to the uh, the Synergy group and, and Captain Uni um, and all of the other participants who've made that a success and I, I look forward to hearing more about the specifics of that during the rest of this session so thank you for letting me part of be part of it I'm proud to represent the Nautical Institute and its contribution to this event today thank you Thank you, uh, Captain John Lloyd. I'm sure uh, Captain Rajesh Uni must have been keenly listening to what you have been saying uh, with Nautical Institute's uh, safety programs. And, uh, you know, he, Captain Rajesh Uni is also a very tech savvy person. So with your Nautical Institute's research and development programs, I'm sure maybe in the future, there could be a collaboration between Synergy Maritime Group as well as Nautical Institute. So we, we look, look forward, forward to, to those opportunities. <laughs> yes, and I would just like to add uh, to those who are listening to us that Nautical Institute, as I mentioned, works uh, very closely with uh, IMO. The Nautical Institute has a voice uh, with IMO. We work very closely with IMO uh, in, in terms of policies and things like that. Um, and uh, as Gillian mentioned, the, the network of uh, the Nautical Institute is spread across the globe. You know, we have uh, branches all across the globe and over 7,000 members already uh, registered with Nautical Institute, which is mostly a professional body. Right, so I uh, get on next uh, with the next speaker, but I would like to tell Captain Venkatraman that as I mentioned in the beginning, this event is actually kind of connecting the globe. We have, uh, I can see some of them joining us from the ship. Uh, some of them are um, some of them who are on leave from different parts of our country and across the globe. So I'm sure uh, they would uh, uh, be keenly wanting to listen to what Synergy has to offer for them. Over to you, Captain Venkatram. Thank you, Samantha. We have a Synergy Teams event happiness to introduce ourselves in a very humble manner in this August gathering today. I hope everybody can hear me. I was told that I'm a little feeble. And, uh, yes, yes, you can. 
Uh, thank you, Sam. Thank you so much, Captain Joes. Uh, thank you so much for the warm, hilarious welcome. Energy can't be more blessed than that. You you took off half of the task of what I did. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I have a small presentation that uh, Captain Oni also speaks uh, from a small snippet from the videos, and uh, that will be uh, much better, in fact. Synergy was started in the year 2006 by a small team of pro uh, passionate professionals who want to excel in the maritime industry with Captain Rajesh Kunni at the helm. Can you hear the volume? Uh, can you share? You want to share something? We have not yeah. been able to view it. No, not yet. One second. One second. Yes, it's come on now. Yes. Can you hear the volume? When we test it, okay. We can see your slides. We can see the video. Well, when we, uh, okay, you, you can, we can't hear it, is it now? Okay, sir. This is about, uh, in a very humble manner, how we started the company here. 2006 and uh, we just had um, a very very small team and from there on over the period of years we have grown to a sizable amount of ships of various kinds and it's absolutely it's of no uh, concern we are here to excel in the maritime industry with passion and deliver what we can to the best of our clients and here, today we are proud to have one of the best players in And Synergy Captain, uh, Captain Oni says uh, he's uh, in a very humble man. So I'm sorry you're not able to hear the audio. If you can hear, I'll be thankful. Yes, you may continue. We can hear you. Okay, sir. Maybe I'll start sharing. Thank you. Uh, if you want some time, I can just talk a little bit and then you can sort this out at your end. Do you want the time? No, sir. No, sir. I'll start sharing once again. But it's, it, it's okay. Don't, don't worry. We can. I can talk about it, no problem. Please, and uh, and uh, we always emphasize on a safety conscious culture, and that's the very reason and the secret how Synergy has seen a sustainable growth over the years today. Safety has always been the priority, followed up with the concern of cost efficiency and client satisfaction. And uh, our our uh, our offices positioned around the globe. I, uh, Venkat, I, I don't think we can we can see anything on, on the screen. So why don't we do this? Why don't uh, you know? If you want, I can I can have a small yes, chat. Please. Please. Yeah. Sure. I think it's a bandwidth thing, uh, Venkat. No worries. No problem. I think Captain Rajeshwini, you can you can take over. Only thing we need to we're going to make you speak twice. Once no, 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 no. I think we will stick to once, <laughs> but I can okay. uh, I can share a little bit uh, if that helps. Okay, so we we actually wanted uh, you to speak us through the challenges that you have faced, um, you know, especially in this times of pandemic, uh, with regard to crews uh, getting the people to sign off and sign on, and the challenges that you must have faced with the uh, seafarers on board challenges you must have faced with the authorities etc so we you know we wanted to get a first hand information and i think you are the right person to give us a first hand information about that over to you no uh, uh, I, you know, uh, I'm echo. thanks captain you know, um, also Gillian, captain john uh, and all my friends out at sea and ashore um, i think i'm very humbled uh, to be able to you know 
be able to speak in front of you. And uh, thanks, Tom Joes, for that introduction. But I honestly don't deserve anything out of that. Um, whatever we have done is has been as a team. So my role must have been quite minimal in anything that we put together. So uh, I think this whatever uh, we have managed to get this far is because of the team, both on board and ashore, and the stakeholders supporting us and the trust. So I think that uh, that's the reality. So I wanted to correct that a little bit uh, and say that uh, this is not about uh, me. It's about all of us coming together and trying to do what best we can. Having said that, uh, I think uh, there are certain fundamental things that I think we believe, we all believe, and this COVID has thrown up. Uh, so, specifically to narrate some of the incidents, maybe like, you know, end February when things we thought were not going to be okay, uh, we felt that there is immediate need for us to come together as an industry and try to offer people some potential solutions. So if you look at it in early March, we've been talking about how can we create safe corridors for people? Uh, and then we try to create a kind of an alliance. Uh, and I must say that, you know, everyone in this industry, it's not about synergy, it's not just us, but it's the entire industry have come together. So I'm, if at all I'm speaking anything, please take this as on behalf of everybody. Uh, I think we, we got together, created an alliance, looked at data, and we found that there were few ports in the world that uh, was happening, um, and that was carrying out a lot of the screw changes. Uh, maybe Singapore, a little bit Gibraltar, Rotterdam, Houston. Uh, and we felt that how can we create safe corridors in these ports? Um, so that was the first thought. And obviously there's a lot of challenge and I don't blame the individual governments too, to be honest, because you know, uh, if you take a case, an example like Singapore, we're part of the work group as well where uh, the individual governments are worried that you know, incoming people, if found COVID positive, then we will start to burden their local healthcare system. And also uh, it could be that, uh, you know, we will create more community, local community spread. So these are, I think, genuine concerns and we felt that it is important to address them. So uh, with, together with ICS and in the ICS group, global task force, we created some kind of protocols that were then, sent on to IMO, who further sent it out to all the member states. Uh, but, and we tried to push and say that it's important to, you know, give these key worker status because only then there are some privileges or some things that come along with it, like uh, whether it's, uh, you know, visa on arrival status and all that. So that was the whole idea behind this key worker status. And we managed to open up a few ports. And I think this is just the start. Uh, because now, as you can see, I was talking to some friends in Greece yesterday and you know, in Europe in general uh, and even in, in Asia, and everyone is worried. And if you look at what's happened in Hong Kong recently, what's happened in Singapore, uh, people are worried about the second wave. So I think this is the new norm and we need to now find the next step, which is, you know, we've been talking about two things. How can we consistently connect the supply nations with these key ports by regular flights? Uh, because this, you know, chartered flights is not a kind of a long-term option. Uh, and the second one was how can we get visa on arrival status for seafarers because then it at least allows us to move across different countries. So these are the two things that we've been working very hard with ICS. Uh, and is there progress? Yes. Uh, to the extent that we want? No. Uh, but the more challenging thing is now that, you know, we will all have to accept that there will be some cases where we get people who are COVID positive, whether it's on the ships and the shore, and how do we then deal with it? So I think that's the next step. We as an industry need to come together and try and draw some protocols. It, it revolves around the safe corridors, but how can we strengthen these protocols? Like Singapore felt that, you know, stay at home notice or guidelines were not being followed. I mean, that's, uh, you know, something that they had thought that people will follow. Maybe there have been some lapses because of whatever constraints or reasons. But things like this uh, will change the kind of uh, processes completely. So uh, I feel that we are not there yet. We are not clearly defined yet. But we made a good start by creating these protocols and handbooks. Uh, but one is the industry must come together and follow them as much as possible. Because it's only then that we can help people on board ships and ashore. Because I think it's extremely critical. You know? 
I've been hearing also of people committing suicides, people losing their, their parents. I've had uh, some captains calling me who are not even with Synergy, but calling and saying, listen, I've lost, both my parents are in hospital. Can you please help and set up and at least ensure that they're, and it's genuine, you know, as a, as a human being, I think we all need to stand up and support each other. So times like these clearly define us, define our value system and define why we do what we do. So I think it's important that we put that in that perspective and it's not about competition all the time. It's about collaboration. It's about coming together for the greater cause. Uh, and that's what I think the only thing that we try to do, if you ask me. And, and, and frankly, uh, I was just a part of this process. There are a lot of other people who aren't some heroes, mainly people at sea and the seafarers are the real heroes. You know, we can, I always say that we can do what we can, we can bring what technology we can, but at the end of the day, our first line and last line of defense are people on board and they are the biggest asset. And if we don't invest in them and if we don't work with them and if we don't understand what their concerns are, I don't think we are providing a quite immersive work experience for them to come back home safely because returning home safely is the most important thing for us. So from a perspective uh, as a seafarer, I, I totally empathize with this current situation. And, and I hope that going forward, these protocols are more closely and clearly adhered and, and we find more means to solve these problems collectively. And we need to go and think about the next step where we will find cases that are positive. We will find ships that have positive COVID cases. And how do we deal with that? How do we find protocols? Or how do we help governments and the organizations deal with such things? It's also going to be, become very important. Uh, so. Right now, uh, on, a, on a global ICS task force level, we are working on these two things, which is uh, about regularizing the air connections and two, about visa on arrivals. And soon we are also uh, now building some appendixes to the existing handbook and workbook that we are building up in Singapore, which will address some of these concerns on, you know, how do we follow protocols. And, uh, and for collaboration with Nautical Institute, I think you, got, you all are doing some amazing work. And in some way we can, we can collaborate and, and bring out some something that is unique and useful to the industry uh, would be more than happy and grateful. So please do count on us. And once again, on behalf of everyone at Synergy and Seafarers uh, and in the industry as a whole, thank you. It doesn't belong to me or Synergy. It is whatever little we have done is because we care for our people. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Captain, uh, Captain Oney. In fact, uh, we have been hearing about all this uh, through various mediums, but to hear it right from your mouth, I think that's a first-hand uh, information and it's quite uh, informative to all of us. Yes, um, uh, today we talk about corridors and bubbles and all that, but I think if I just think as a seafarer, I would probably be thinking of uh, somebody who can stand up for me um, you know, especially when it comes to giving me employment in this pandemic time, as well as signing me off on an extended contract. So I, I think there uh, we are uh, so happy to have somebody like you, Captain Rajesh Shuni, and your team, Synergy team, that we can, we seafarers can rely on that there is somebody behind a shore who's thinking about us, to getting us back home with our family, as well as uh, in this difficult crisis time, there are people like you who are continuously working with the procedures and protocols for the welfare of seafarers. So on behalf of the Nautical Institute, on behalf of all seafarers who are listening to us and the entire seafaring community, a big thank you to Captain Rajesh Shoni and uh, Team Synergy. But we had a little bit of change of schedule. Captain Oni, uh, the way he's known of, is well known to change our schedule. So he did change our schedule. Uh, so I'll come back to our itinerary and uh, it's the next item I can see on my paper is the one that we all have been waiting for. So Gillian, I would like to share my screen and uh, I would like uh, initially uh, Captain Lloyd, Captain John Lloyd to extend his appreciation to Captain Rajesh Shuni and team and then followed up by uh, Ms. Gillian. So may I... Uh, uh, on behalf of Captain John Lloyd, present this. Um, yeah, Captain John Lloyd, you can take over. Well, Captain Ooney, right. your, your words were inspirational. It, it was 
um, a mixture of compassion, professionalism, and a resolve to do as much as you could, both as an individual, which we mustn't understate, but also on behalf of your whole organization and your crews, um, demonstrating that with the right leadership and the right level of commitment, then truly inspirational results can can be achieved and I would like to express on behalf of your crews who've managed to get home for those who are seeking work getting back on board ship um, that's hugely important but it's also a thank you from the Nautical Institute on behalf of the whole maritime community for that vision and leadership that you've shown and it gives me great pleasure to present this certificate of appreciation which is only a token but for us it's really important that we can say that out loud it's a thank you to you and your team in this certificate of appreciation uh, for the work that you've done in this sector uh, please accept our, the certificate and our thanks <clears throat> thanks Kevin John it's just a part of our duty and responsibility but thank you uh, Ms. Jillian, yes. Yes, I'd just like to add some of my own comments. Your, mm -hmm. your words of wisdom, the, the, the link to the human side, the value system, and the collaboration and coordination that we can work on together. So this is not a, it, it's not a situation that will end just tomorrow. There is an ongoing system and we have to look to the future. Your comments as well about dealing with covid from the point of view what happens if you do have a seafarer with covid or what happens if uh something happens on the vessel when it's at sea looking ahead and working so that we have protocols in place to address that it's going to be visionary and it will be the way that we can then continue to have this operation the seafaring operation the ships transiting and transferring the cargo into the future so thank you very much it is really an honor to be able to present this to you using the technology that's available and to have this interaction as well while we're speaking, um, while you were speaking, I was watching the comments that were coming in on the Facebook feed. So I hope you have a chance to look at that afterwards because everyone is saying how wonderful it is that we're having this opportunity to recognize the effort, the collaboration and the cooperation that's happening at this time. Thank you, Gillian. I'm going to use the same technology that we just spoke of to make sure that we don't delay the certificate anymore. So I'm going to just use the technology and send it right away to Captain Rajesh Oni and his office. Okay, so I've got the certificate. Uh, yes, it's shown as delivered in my um, computer. So thanks once again to Team Synergy and Captain Rajeshwini on accepting the Certificate of Appreciation from the Nautical Institute. Thank you. Uh, we have two, two speakers, uh, the real heroes, as we would like to call them. Uh, we have Captain Mridhal as well as Captain Aditya of Synergy Shipping. I would let Captain Aditya speak uh, first, uh, since he has signed, on, signed off and is safe at home, to share with us your experience i am sure you must have I, I would like to we would like to hear two experiences one when you are on board with uh, all this happening and uncertainties etc and then uh, how how did you manage as a seafarer as a master to sign off and come home safe so over to you captain aditya um, hello everyone good evening this is captain aditya here i hope you can hear me all yes okay um, First of all, uh, thank you everyone for inviting me to this panel and it is a real pleasure to be here among such esteemed company. Uh, thanks to Captain Onni and uh, all the team at Synergy. We have had a very good uh, chance to put all these, uh, you know, uh, the experiences of the seafarers on this forum. So uh, I will start with uh, what happened when we were on board in December. And uh, when the first the news started rolling in of the uh, pandemic across the world, and it was a bit of a, you know, a bit of a issue because uh, no one knew exactly what was going to be uh, happening and how it's going to be leading to. And um, gradually, as things grew across the time, and uh, the most important part we thought would be to have uh, everyone safe on board. 
of course, people were worried on board about their families, and uh, uh, th there was no news as such as to how their own cities and towns and villages were being affected. Um, thankfully, uh, Synergy stepped in. We had some, you know, uh, increased internet capacities. Uh, we had uh, calling cards being given to us, uh, so the crew members could talk to their families and just understand that what's going on and uh, be safe, basically. Uh, on the shipboard part of the uh, entire exercise, we had one thing very, very clear. We had to keep our morale high and we had to ensure that not even a single iota of a chance would be possible for any infection to come on board. Because if it did, uh, that would be a really uh, difficult situation for everyone. Uh, so those things landed up with uh, me getting off approximately in the last week of June, whereas I was supposed to get off in March. My reliever uh, was already on board in, at the end of March, but it was almost uh, three months which, in which we were sailing parallel uh, to each other. And uh, finally, in the last week of June, I managed to get off in Istanbul, thanks to the uh, efforts from the Synergy Marine team. And uh, I had a fairly safe trip back home because uh, Synergy had arranged a chartered flight from Doha to India and I could manage to get a seat on that. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Captain Aditya. I think you are one of those lucky, fortunate seafarers uh, who could come back home. And I, I think, yeah, I'm sure you are aware that uh, Team Synergy is one of those companies uh, in the forefront and organizing chartered flights to bring uh, seafarers back to our country. So you, yes. have, you've been very lucky. We wish you all the um, best for, for your leave, leave period, and uh, great to know your experience with Synergy Shipping and signing off. Thank, right. you, so much. Thank you so much. So next, uh, next on, we have Captain Ridul. Um, uh, so, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Still there, but I don't see any of the pictures anymore. Okay, fine. Uh, so, Captain uh, Mridul, over to you. Captain Mridul, can you hear us? Um, okay, can you hear me now? Is it Captain Mridul? Yeah, Captain yes, Mridul from Musk and yes. Canada. Yes, yes, please go ahead. Okay, I don't know because I'm not able to see the video here. No problem, you are audible, you can please go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm sitting on the bridge and uh, sorry, you may hear some alarm in between. Yeah, we're back on, yeah. Okay. Please go. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm very thankful to my company. Uh, since 2007, I'm working with Synergy and then uh, each year when I work, I always feel this is the best year uh, in Synergy for me. But this keeps on going and now in 2020, for my joining also, there were so many hurdles, but finally I managed to join uh, off Sri Lanka at Gale. So it was a very good experience and very little tough time, both for me as well as company, because unfortunately one or two guys in our flight were tested positive and everything got stuck. And there was so much of a theoretical hindrance that uh, nine of my colleagues could not join. And last moment, I could join at high seas. Weather was also not good. Correct, correct. But all thanks to uh, Synergy. And uh, Captain Unni, really, I salute you that I may not have communicated much, but then uh, uh, there are a lot of blessings which you are getting from all of us, uh, which cannot be narrated in the world, sir. And uh, later, I can see that the remaining of my crew member who had already done more than 12 months here on board, their sign off was cancelled at last moment, but still, this do, did not put our morale down. Not only our, even the company's morale down, they continuously tried their best. First, they tried in Gibraltar. Unfortunately, it could not happen there. And then uh, finally, at Felixto, 15 of my crew member signed off. And uh, I think this was shared on the, this video was shared on the Facebook also. You can see the joy on their faces. When they signed off, they had finished more than 13 months on board. So 
uh, that is something really different what i am feeling here uh, in this company and thanks to uk government in fact i would say thanks to uk government also that they are uh, supporting us without any interference to the seafarers even uh, our indian government also that they are allowing the chartered flight so we are really thankful to our organization and all related authorities and if other things which i want to mention it is not that i am my experience i am closely following the other vessels through change also like uh, one of our 20 mega ship 20000 tu plus of indian coast uh, we are doing a crew change so wherever possible slightest possible way our company is trying their best to do the crew change and it is happening and uh, i don't know how many of you know or not but uh, i have we all have the our colleagues in the other company also now they are citing the example of synergy what the synergy exactly is doing in the uh, market and they are demanding the same from their company so this is something which uh, you really feel proud when you are associated with such company for 13 years and each year like is becoming like is the best year for you so there are plenty more to come in the future but uh, as i said he is not only uh, he may be having everything but very few people in this world get the blessings of the people so this is what something he is getting both from the onboard people and who are at home i was at home actually my joining was in april and then finally i managed to join in june end but then uh, because we are also dependent on this uh, our job only so the people on board wanted to go home and the people at home wanted to join the vessel so wherever possible we are, our company is doing best our organization is also doing but i would say our company is setting an example to the remaining of the companies organization to do something similar so i would say thank you thank you very much and namaskar thank you captain rudal uh, i mean the way that you used uh, certain words like our company i'm sure uh, the people listening to you especially the youngsters would catch those words when when you say our company you know we need to it, it purely shows the way how you are connected to your company and it it shows the way that how the company and the team ashore and the team on board are working together on this so it was very nice to hear such things and uh, i'm sure it's a double bonus for captain rajesh uni because uh, other than the certificate of appreciation from the nautical institute if uh, the words that uh, captain murudul spoke on his personal behalf and on behalf of the a lot of seafarers that he have been interacting with and saying that synergy uh, group has been in the forefront of leading in this uh, pandemic crisis especially with uh, dealing with seafarer sign on sign off so i am sure um, captain only must be very happy to hear right from uh, the ground route level you know captain on a ship is uh, reporting live about uh, the good work done by synergy group and that's how it is so thank you once again captain rudul thank you once again to team synergy and captain rajesh only for this entire thing and uh, you know we are just fortunate that we we could capture this event and appreciate synergy group i now do i invite uh, the uh, as we as you know nautical institute uh, headquarter at london have various branches across india and uh, we have a branch at cochin uh, which is called the nautical institute southwest branch so i i invite captain tom joseph who is the president of the nautical institute southwest branch to give his felicitation captain tom thank you captain vinod uh miss julian person president nautical institute captain john lloyd ceo of nautical institute captain dajay shunni founder and ceo of synergy group distinguished guests particularly those from the synergy group fellow members colleagues and friends good day and happy to all some of you may know incorporation of nautical institute southwest branch in kochi was a dream come true for most of us in this part of the world this would not have been possible but for the continuous efforts of our fellow members captain joskuti thomas fni our founder president 
Captain John Menezes, FNI, our immediate past president, and Captain Abhijit Balakrishnan, AFNI, our founder secretary, just to name a few of the key actors. The geographical extent of NA Southwest is from Black Reefs in the west, Karwar in the north, Bangalore on the no northeast, Salem in the east, Tutikoran on the southeast, and Cape Comorin in the south. That covers good part of Karnataka, western half of Tamil Nadu, and entire state of Kerala and Black Reefs. Of course, Cochin is the major port within and conveniently located midway on the western boundary. Before formation of India's southwest branch of NI, some of us who could spare time and money and take some trouble used to attend the NA meetings in Chennai, India's south branch. Needless to mention, it used to be a three days ordeal for yesterday's program. Our branch was inaugurated on 25 September 2015 by Captain Maccabe, then president of NA London. Since then, we grew from about 17 members at the inception to about 150 members to date. We happily welcomed many dignitaries to the Putin chapter since then, including Captain John Lloyd and Philip Pei. We just missed hosting Ms. Bridget Hogan, Director of Publishing and Membership in, of NA London on 25th March this year due to the pandemic and consequent lockdown. I have known Captain Rajesh Shunni for a few decades, being from my hometown and my younger brother's classmate in Sainik School, Captain Joskuti from the same school may agree that military background may have laid his skills strong and paved his way through his career to enable him to head and steer the most prestigious and respectful shipping company in the world. Synergy Group, headquarters in Singapore, today has about 300 ships and 12,000 seafarers with 13 global offices. And more than the size of the company, the group is well known among the seafarers due to their friendly seafarer policies. It is not doubt seafarers in any company are those who are the flag bearers and torch bearers and instrumental in spreading the good or bad about the shipping companies. Synergy has formulated their policies recent policy initiative by Synergy to facilitate crew change much before anyone else is the very reason for us to gather here and appreciate them today and no doubts they stand tall in this aspect as of date. Captain Rajesh Shunni has already offered that he would like to uh, cooperate with NI and my request to Captain Rajesh is to partner with Nautical Institute as well by encouraging his team members to obtain membership such a way that they also be part of the world professional body. More than just being members with a host of privileges, the sailing members are a great advantage considering the huge sum of 50,000 GBP as insurance cover for legal assistance against criminalization of seafarers. I would like to conclude by congratulating Captain Rajesh Shunni and his team for being recognized during these troubled times and wish them a very happy sailing. Thank you and bon voyage. Thank you, uh, Captain Tom Joseph, uh, for your wonderful words. Well, uh, we've just come to the, uh, coming to the end of this event and I've been given the uh, responsibility of delivering the vote of thanks. Uh, I'm sure I've been boring you with my voice for the last one hour. Uh, just bear with me for the word of thanks. Uh, first, I, at the outset, I would like to thank uh, Captain Rajesh Shone, uh, and we know uh, how busy he is, especially in this times of pandemic. But I just wanted to quickly tell you, as an ex-sailor myself with Synergy Group, 
way back uh, at the time of inception as one of those masters of sale with synergy i would say at that time there were two core values i remember uh, with synergy group one was uh, the welfare of the seafarers which was considered as the top priority and number two in today's uh, technology advanced world you know everybody likes to take control over things and there's a lot of tussle happening between the shore office and the ship but uh, i found that one of the core values that the synergy group had was they gave you the freedom on board to do things that you felt as competent so um, seafarers welfare and giving them that freedom to work and trusting in their competence was the core value of synergy group when i had sailed with synergy but i can see that captain rajesh shuni is still keeping that up front as i mentioned as one of the companies who organized chartered flights for uh, seafarers signing on signing off so i believe the core values are still there even after 15 years of 15 odd years of inception uh, captain raj and knowing the personality that captain rajesh shuni is why not i mean these are the core values that he believes in and i'm sure over the next so many years to come this will still remain the core values of synergy group uh, it doesn't stop with that it doesn't stop with seafarers welfare and uh, i i don't know how many of you know that captain rajesh shuni also contributes a lot in charity uh, to the underprivileged and poor people from our country so it doesn't stop with that and that's a huge responsibility sir that you have taken up uh, we wish you all the very best to you as well as synergy group and thank you once again for having come and accepted our invitation and the certificate of appreciation cap thanks to captain rajesh shuni um i also have to thank uh, captain john lloyd as he mentioned uh, he mentioned about calls that he received back home i'm sure i have troubled him with a few calls over the last one week and the moment he wakes up in the morning he would either find my call or a whatsapp message and that would drive him uh, into it the thanks uh, captain john lloyd for your support without that i don't think this the, we could have taken out this event thank you um um miss jillian i i i think the same goes with you uh, over the last uh, 10 days we have been interacting over this and i have troubled you a lot today also we are holding up your dinner i, I think it's time past dinner in australia we would let you go in 2 minutes for a peaceful dinner thank you all for thank you very much for your support in making this uh, event a success uh, thanks to captain uh, jos thomas captain menesis captain tom joseph and all those you know this event was just taken off uh, all of a sudden just over the last few days and to come to this i think all of us has worked as captain rajesh shuni says it's just about teamwork i can't uh, um, leave my speech word of thanks without thanking two people especially vishal from synergy who has really backed uh, me up with uh, you know in such a short time so thank you vishal and uh, also treta for coming in and helping us you know clear all the technological hitches that we had including uh, the interactions that we had morning so thanks to all of you uh, indeed i i would again mention like captain rajesh shuni said it's it's all about teamwork so i thank uh, all the participants all the associations team synergy nautical institute members for coming and participating in this event and making it a success thank you uh, i have yes captain uh, oh, I I yes yes please go ahead captain rajesh no i just wanted to thank you all and all the seafarers out there please keep continue to do what you do best and we will try our best to be as supportive and useful as possible thank you sir thank you captain rajesh uh, yeah just one request i've got from australia and we can't just uh, ignore the request it's come from a president she is requesting uh, if all of us can turn on now that we don't have the bandwidth issues if all of us can turn on our cameras and come on screen she would like to take a picture of all of us so please turn on your cameras Yes, Jillian, you got all of us. No, I'm I'm missing some. There's still some that aren't sending on. Maybe they're shy. <laughs> We have a very good group. So that's wonderful. Yes, please, all of you can turn on uh, the cameras. Captain Sony John, you're. I know you're joining from the ship. If you don't have any issues with bandwidth, you can turn on your camera. I think as well as others. 
Ah, we have Mudgu as well. That's good. Excellent. Yeah, here it is coming as host as uh, switched off my video. If you can do it, uh, Vinod, please. Yes, uh, Jillian. Oh, I'll try. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. I have to ask to stop the video. I can't actually turn it on. Yeah, I am trying from here. It's saying that you cannot start your video because, yeah. Oh, okay. No, there is nothing done from the host side. It's clear. I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure everyone can turn their video on if they want to. It's up to you though, of course. So I'm asking to start video as much as possible. We've got lots of people. It's wonderful to have you all on board. And I hope you have a chance because this has been live broadcast onto Facebook. You'll be able to go back and have a quick peek later. As well, we've been recording it and we hope to uh, put it up on the uh, YouTube channel. So thank you very much. And thank you, Vinod, for all your work. Have you taken the picture, Jillian? Yes. Okay, great. So just give me 30 seconds. I just had one thing which I forgot. Just give me 30 seconds. I would like to share my screen. Um, okay. Uh, just in case uh, a lot of participants over here from across the world, in case you are interested in joining Synergy Maritime, this is the place that you need to go on. This is where they are based at. Of course, they have offices across the globe. So you can get them on, uh, on, on the internet. This is Synergy. And in case you want to join up the Nautical Institute, you've got me. Uh, this is how you can reach us on the Nautical Institute. And we look forward to having you at the Nautical Institute. Thank you so much. We will conclude the event. Thank you.